So what is the tortoise in the hair? Is this even the name of the show? What are we doing here? So first off, what is Real Elite? Real Elite is a company that Kirk and I are working in uh, and currently building. It's a video production company for the future. And um, even before the company was in existence, Kirk and I um, have had a long relationship. We actually went to high school together uh, many years band ago. Band nerds. Yes, band nerds. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> we were cool band nerds. Now you were a cool band nerd. I'll say you were cool. I too. was a, I was an asshole band. You were cool because you were getting in a lot of trouble, which people are like, man, that guy's cool because he's like I think we always remember going high to the principal. Way differently. <laughs> What's that? I think we remember high school way differently. <laughs> I was miserable every day. Yeah, you were always stirring up stuff. Anyway, so that's where our relationship started. Um, and around that time frame, we both became and started getting interested in business. Real estate. Uh, in real estate. Yeah. It started with real estate because it was Rich Dad Poor Dad. We, we read Rich Dad we Poor Dad. Because like you and I come from different worlds. So yeah, so we connected on Rich Dad Poor Dad. Before that, we were never really friends really. That was where we connected and we created a, a club called Back. Yep. We <laughs> called it Back because it was business advancement for college kids. Even our, though we weren't in college. No, we weren't in college. <laughs> we were, pre we're, we're always a step ahead, I think. <laughs> we're always like ready. We're like, I don't want to be here. Let's be there. I want to be at the next level. Like, fuck high school. <laughs> That's right. Basically, we got together so, with a couple different... Um, Topics and purposes. Lamar in Johnson mind. came. Yeah. yeah, that's true. We would read uh, business books, investing books, and discuss them and try and share knowledge with each other with the mindset of trying to learn, trying to improve. We wanted to be investors, we wanted to be businessmen, we wanted to be in real estate. We wanted to get ahead from a financial standpoint. Yeah. And, um, you know, and then from there, you really started uh, reading a lot more, writing a lot more, and learning about uh, philosophy as well. Yeah. And I went down the path of, you know... Uh, you actually did what we said we were going to do. <laughs> and I was like, nah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, eventually I ended up in real estate. Yeah. And then we... we Killing in real estate. We recombined uh, when it... Which, Ten years uh, later. Yeah, that's right. And that which led to Real Elite now. And um, you got your degree in film production. And then uh, on my end, I worked with a couple different individuals and I worked on a reality show uh, uh -huh. that we produced ourselves. And then I ended up forming Real Elite um, to produce video for local real estate companies and business and men and women here in town. And then we combined forces and revamped Real Elite so that we're producing something for the future. Uh, which entails creating video from a scale standpoint, from an affordability standpoint, for uh, basically business professionals, mm -hmm. mainly here in San Antonio, but you know everywhere as well. My vision right now of what I'm seeing is um, building out a media company that streamlines the production process which is a very expensive, has always been extremely expensive and it excludes people from making videos regularly. But now, you know, um, uh, commercials or something in the 90s are expensive, right? And even when, you know, prices kind of came down with YouTube and creating like internet videos, it still would cost, you know, the industry average was at least for a small company, a thousand dollar per edited minute. So like a four minute video complete product was four thousand dollars so uh, and that's low end like not, not a lot of fancy stuff. so anyway part of my vision is like I want to across the nation make that available to small businesses everywhere where if you know if you're a car you know in car sales if you're a real estate agent if you're a real estate investor if you have a small business you know small restaurant if you have um, you know, small manufacturing plant, if you fucking make surfboards in your house, like whatever it is, you know, and you have even a small budget to make a little bit of videos, we want to make that as easy as possible to do by executing for you. Obviously, you could do a lot of stuff on your own, and we'll show you how to do that, but 
a lot of times you're too busy making surfboards. So my vision is trying to help spread that around the nation. That's the how or the what. The how um, is essentially building out products for people that can get them started in making money with video that then puts them into a position where they can do a little bit fancier videos, still streamlined and affordable, you know, using iPhone stuff and, um, you know, docu like doing this kind of thing, documenting their, their journey. Like, let's say they're, um, you know, small uh, business that does like cleaning of uh, houses and they're like, you know, small family business, they have nine employees, all family, you know, three million dollars a year, something like that, or a million dollars a year, um, whatever, and they want to grow, or you could document, like, how do you get to 15 people, and we can help you document that, which will then tell your story online to people in your community, and, you know, help you spread, and it kind of like a self-fulfilling prophecy, of, you know, virtuous circle. So that's kind of the how, I guess. And, um, I guess, and then the why is we believe that a uh, well-told story presented with passion is the best, you know, authentically and presented with passion is the best tool for success. A well-told story presented with passion uh, and authentically is the, best, uh, is the best tool for success. Yeah, so this type of thing is um, from Gary Vaynerchuk mentality, which is... If you don't the, know him, yeah, check look him out. out. So Gary, Watch his like, stuff. His whole premise is document, don't create, which the idea is you want to show, like, instead of spending years trying to perfect the perfect show for YouTube or for Facebook or for Instagram or whatever it is that you're trying to build, just put the fucking camera up and start recording stuff. And part of it is like try to document like the process of something. So, because um, that gives you a lot of material, which people like that stuff, and it's very helpful. So we're documenting now. This is kind of a show, and to some degree, and we have I think the advantage of building a media company. But but with building a media company, and the purpose is um, we want to make sure that we give a small business, you know, clients. We, if you're you know, in a certain realm, we want to give you the ability to do this affordably. Because to do it the way that Gary Vaynerchuk costs, I mean, that's like millions of dollars a year. Guaranteed. Well, even before, even before Gary, I mean, he, I mean he's getting cut on, costs. Yeah, like, getting, to do what he does now was impossible. It used to just be television. That would be Which tens of thousands of dollars, yeah. if no, not millions. more. Yeah, to do it regularly like he does it, to do a show, I mean, it's, it's too much. So, yeah, we're, we're cutting the cost. What we're doing here is we also want to show people our process, but then I'm gonna give you like the you know do this like it's not that hard. We're here at Zoe's, not these fucking people because they're assholes. <laughs> they wouldn't let us shoot. They kicked us out. They kicked us out. They're like let us film here. We're not even gonna film. People will tag your business. They're like no. Like oh go fuck yourself. Which is the future of how business should operate. Yeah, right? like you need to do like we're media companies, and you're gonna say no. It's like Channel Five wants to come shoot at your place. You're like, nah. I don't want to be on Channel 5. I'm like, Channel 5 sucks. This is the new media. <laughs> like this. But anyway, um, so we're trying to, you know, the purpose of this show is to show that process of how we're building it, how we're working with clients, you know, you know how we're thinking about strategies, marketing, sales. You know, we've just, we just came up with five products and one of our shows we'll see probably in the future. Five products that we can, something like five, that we can use video to increase sales and we've already used some of them to make sense. So, the point is like the purpose of the show is to do that. I'm thinking of calling it the tortoise and the hare. <laughs> and the reason is uh, Marco and I are very different people in a lot of ways. Even though we have a strong relationship from you know, 12 years. Uh, we're both 31 years old. 31? Yeah, 31. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to be 32. I forget sometimes. Yeah, it's getting point. at that point. I was like, I'm going to carry the one. <laughs> and so the... Um, Tortoise and the hare, if you probably know the, the Aesop's fable, is you have you know, this tortoise and the hare racing, and of course the tortoise is slow and steady, the hare is all over the place, running and running and running, gets distracted, blah, blah, blah. And eventually, just because the, hare is, uh, the tortoise is slow and steady, he wins the race, right? That's the moral. Well, I'm a hare, because I'm all over the place, and that's been one of my problems in my past. Marco's 
definitely a tortoise. Like a tortoise to a millionth degree. Because he's the slowest degree. motherfucker ever. But yes, people he's, tell me I'm slow he's, and everything. Yeah, even slow though like, he's eating, fucking he's slow, slow talking. talking. Everything is tortoise with this guy. He drives slow. I he drive must, safe. Drive super slow. I follow the yeah. rules. <laughs> You know, but he but he built like a, he's like one of the top wholesalers in San Antonio. He's done like 350 transactions. You know, so it's, it's like slow has a lot of merits. You know, hair. I think I've built a lot of skills. You know, I've been one of the, to if I can give myself credits, I've been writing every day since I was 18 years old. So I've really honed my craft of writing. You know, it's probably been school. reading every day. And since I've been then reading. Too. Yeah, I've read like thousands of books at this point. I have a huge amount. Well, I want to count them. <laughs> and um, it's been over a thousand. Gotta be. Like, you do read a lot. A lot. Like, it's a lot of books. Especially if you count. How, anyway, so um, so my thing is that, that whole fable, the, the tortoise and the hare, the hare loses. And, I, you know, and to be honest, like, I haven't won in a lot of ways. But I was thinking, like, wouldn't it be cool if, like, the tortoise and the hare were tied together <laughs> and they were racing all the other forest animals. Who would win? Well, because the hare is faster, he would make the tortoise a little bit faster. And because the, ha- the, the tortoise is slow and steady, he would focus and slow down the hare. So the, my general concept for this show is to show you that process, that you know, it's the tortoise and the hare getting together, winning the race, and beating all you other motherfuckers. Because, <laughs> because alone, like, Marco's going to take 200 years to build Probably like a hundred. <laughs> yeah, to actually do it, and uh, I'll probably die with a drug overdose at 35 or something. <laughs> but together, like we'll slow each other down and focus, and, and you know, uh, and go a little bit faster to get towards. I mean, just in four months, we went from like you know, Marco had like one or two sales to like 40 sales in like four months. But we made a lot of fuck ups because of me, and you know, we probably should have gone a little slow. So that's part of the process we're trying to document is like making that happen. And showing it to you. So we, we're talking about sales meetings, marketing, all that stuff, and so, how to do them. Like, like how to actually do this for yourself. Yeah, honestly, what this is, is it's really like a behind the scenes, a in depth and intimate view of what we are doing on a consistent basis. Our vision on what we think the future is for video, what we think the future is for media, uh, what we think the future in is in San Antonio. Specifically, like That's we're true. giving you the San Antonio, not the New York City or the San Francisco view, which is right. way different. Yeah, but a lot of these concepts are universal as well. Oh no, they're all yeah. yeah. And um, you know, we're giving you an inside look of our successes and our problems, our challenges, our hurdles, you what we're overcoming. Say failure. <laughs> you know, our failures. Our fuck ups. Yeah, we have <laughs> plenty of those for sure. Uh, but with, they're basically learning lessons, so you can kind of see what we're doing because. You know, we've had a lot of success, success, we've also had a lot of failures, but we are in the early stages of building this company. And um, this is our way of showcasing what our thought process and how we're handling the different situations that arise from a day-to-day basis. And so you can get an inside look at that and you can take some of the lessons that we have here and implement it uh, to your own personal businesses, your personal uh, work and life. And additionally, you know, also consider becoming a real leak client. Uh, join us so that we can help you and, and build more videos to help you grow. So, so you can see who the salesman is. <laughs> That's it. So follow the us. Tortoise in the head. <laughs> this is our journey. We're the giving, real elite. You will see what we are doing as we are doing it. Our thought process, how we talk things out. And uh, our approach That's right. to what we're trying to create. And you can see us literally building a business. And if you see us around town, say hello. Take a selfie with <laughs> Take us. Take a selfie with us. Yeah, we're very approachable because right now well, it's he just is. Two. He charges for his autograph now, yeah. but I'll do it for free. When it, yeah, for, when it, for my writing. So yeah, <laughs> I'm definitely going to charge for that. <laughs> cool. Right, Looking to meet it. each and every one of you. Yeah.